Yeah, careful if you're out there flying, get out your broomsticks because a massive event is coming to North Myrtle Beach this weekend. It's the International Quidditch Association World Cup. You did hear that right. And WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at the new North Myrtle Beach Park and Sports Complex with a little preview teaching us about this unique sport. Hey, Amanda. Yeah, learning a little bit about the game, and I have a broom, and I really am hoping that this one flies. Do you know? Does Unfortunately, this one fly? I don't think this model is, is no. quite, up, quite up to oh, that now. Oh, man. Okay, so lots of people have no idea what Quidditch is. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about it. You use brooms, which is, um, I think, pretty unique to all sports. Pretty, pretty <laughs> much. There's, you know, broom ball. There, there's a couple other sports, but no one uses them the way we do. Right, right. Demonstrate here. You can put the sure. balls down. Yeah. Look so. at what they do. T talk about what you do. You so, actually yeah. ride on the brooms. Yeah, Quidditch teams have seven players on the field at a time, and each player has to keep a broom between their legs at all times. That's got to get hard sometimes. It's, it's a little difficult. It's you, you know, it's something you learn pretty easily. Um, you usually have a hand on the broom as you run, okay. or you know, if someone's uh, giving you a pass, you want to alley oop and dunk it through the hoops. You can keep it like this and try and catch it and dunk it. But we don't allow artificial supports. You can't build any sort of harness or anything like that. Okay. So not only do you keep this between your legs, but you're also throwing dodgeballs right. at people exactly. throughout exactly. the game mm -hmm. and then what you're throwing this trying to get this in the goal right trying to get it through one of the three hoops at the other end of the field that's a lot going on there's a lot and then there's another element which is the snitch right so the snitch uh, in the Harry Potter books is that tiny gold ball that he's flying around looking for and he catches it and it gives his team 150 points which is 15 goals in our version the snitch is not a ball but it's a person and they dress up in bright yellow and at the beginning of the game the referee will yell snitch is loose and the snitch will go run and hide somewhere in this park <laughs> anywhere in anywhere, the park just, so about, just, just about anywhere you pretty much want to find the snitch and exactly. I'm glad you brought up Harry Potter that's where this whole game comes from so unbelievable and I'm going to search around until I find the broom that flies. I think that'll give me a one-up <laughs> on the game, guys. Bring it back with you, Amanda. Absolutely. It sounds like fun. The of North Myrtle Beach could bring in more than a million dollars just this weekend thanks to a unique sport. You might recognize Quidditch if you're a Harry Potter fan. And we've got our own Harry Potter fan out there <laughs> learning the ropes. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth live at the North Myrtle Beach Park and Sports Complex with details on the Quidditch World Cup. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Yes, tons of people are coming to town for this. This is pretty exciting. The, the World Cup right here in North Myrtle Beach, and it's Quidditch, which is from Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. They uh, they fly around on their brooms. Mm -hmm. We've already established my broom doesn't fly this morning, but that's okay. Um, kind of a combination of rugby and tag and dodgeball all rolled into one, plus you've got room between your legs. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> what a game. Mm -hmm. Gosh, and you've, you've been playing this for... I've been playing this for about four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was president of the team at my college, uh, and now I'm a volunteer for the International Quidditch Association. So there's a league that governs over 300 teams around the world who actually are dues-paying teams who are part of our league who play the sport throughout the season. Okay, yeah, and this is the World Cup here. There'll be three countries here. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, pretty intense sport, it right? It is intense. So it started as, you know, the sport from Harry Potter, a bunch of kids, you know, fooling around at Middlebury College in 2005. Uh, but it's really become a, it's become a sport in its own right, so you don't have to be a Harry Potter fan to enjoy it. People who are just on the lookout for new and interesting sports are welcome to come out as well, and they'll find something they enjoy too. Yeah, and are you a Harry Potter fan? I am a Harry Potter fan, and that's what got me into it. Um, but Quidditch has really taken on a life of its own. It's its own activity, it's its own identity. So we're, you know, we're proud of, you know, coming from Harry Potter, and that's great. Um, but it's, it's it, the cool thing about Quidditch is that it really, you know, attracts all sorts of people. Yeah, I'm, it just amazes me that, you know, it started as a book and a, and a movie, and then boom, it's all the way exactly. across the world. So, okay, I need a demonstration, a sure. real life demonstration. I've seen the videos. Run okay. with the broom, go! Do you want the pass? <laughs> nice, yeah, come on back. See, and then you run, and then you have to throw. Oh, nice job! Yep. It sounds like a lot of coordination is needed for this game. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm going to practice up. We'll see how I do later <laughs> on. It's harder than it looks, I'm sure. Well, yeah, you've got to keep one hand on the broom. You've basically got to catch with one hand all while running. I mm. mean, definitely harder than it looks. Yep. Get out your broomsticks, your magic wands, yep. whatever you may need, because a <laughs> massive event is coming to North Myrtle Beach this weekend, the International Quidditch Association World Cup. It's a mouthful. <laughs> WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kinseth is live at the North Myrtle Beach Park and Sports Complex with the details, hanging out with uh, a kind of a pro, Amanda.
Yeah, Logan's a pro, and I gotta say, uh, the Quidditch thing sounds way more fun than sweeping at home. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, so a lot of elements involved in this game, and um, one of them, we've got the hoops back here. You actually have to shoot a goal. Exactly, so every time you get this ball, which is a volleyball, but when it's slightly deflated, we call it a quaffle. Every time it goes through the hoops, that's 10 points per goal. Okay, so let's break this down. You actually have to run with a broom between your right. legs. And then have a hand free and shoot it back. Uh, shoot it. Let's see. Okay, so you can get up close, or you, you can know. You get up close, so you can shoot all the way back. You can make if you can make half court shots. You can you can shoot Let's them. See. Hey, there you go. There you but that's not actually the correct ball to shoot with. That's a dodgeball. So as these people are running around, you've got a dodgeball in your hand, and then you throw the dodgeball at the players. You can tackle the players. It's a full contact sport. I mean, there's just a lot going on for really this game. Mm -hmm. And there's somebody called a snitch running around playing like hide and seek almost just too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is. Uh, so do you have? A lot of fun. Do you come out with a lot of bruises? I it's, mean, it's a ton of fun. You you definitely have bruises. Um, it's a sport just like any other. So we have uh, athletes train for it. They do conditioning sessions. They do weights. They do runs, uh, and you know they have the bruises to show that it's a sport as well. The bruises. What's the general reaction for people who come and they've never seen this sport before? The general reaction is usually surprise. Uh, if you know if you know Harry Potter, you know Quidditch, uh, and then you're you know you're surprised and you're excited that it exists. If you're not as familiar with Harry Potter, um, it's sort of wonderment. Or if you know Harry Potter and you're a little skeptical, you'll say, you know, how did they adapt this? Is it really a sport? Um, and they come out and they see it is. So we, you know, teams across the country are met with skepticism. When you tell your friends, I'm on the Quidditch team, uh, it conjures up maybe a different image than what it actually is. But certainly something to come out and see. You can do that this weekend in North Myrtle Beach. I think it sounds like fun. Absolutely. It should be a sight. And it's happening tomorrow and Sunday if you want to go check it out. The city of North Myrtle Beach could be bringing in more than a million dollars just this weekend thanks to a unique sport. You might recognize Quidditch if you're a Harry Potter fan. WPDE News Channel 15's Amanda Kenseth has been live out at the North Myrtle Beach Parks and Sports Complex all morning with details on the Quidditch World Cup. She's learning how to, uh, well, fly a broom, right, Amanda? <laughs> I, I am, and as dry as I might, I can't get my broom to fly. So I've been working on the whole running with the broom thing. Jumping which helps a little. Takes some getting used to. Yeah, and there's a lot of different elements to the game. Think rugby plus dodgeball plus tag, and uh, you have to go and you make a goal, right? So what? Ah! ah. <laughs> I think your goal counts. Did you make it before I, think, I hit you? I think you? I got the shot off. Okay, but <laughs> all these elements combined, plus I could tackle you. Right. Uh, just contact sport, and I just think it must be so unique to see people running around with brooms. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun too. You know, people, you know, you see people running around with brooms, you think, what exactly are they doing? It's good for recruiting for college campuses because you know, if you go by and you see people playing, you don't say, oh, that's the other Quidditch team. There's only ever one. <laughs> that is true. But it's growing. I mean, it started essentially in a Harry Potter movie. Mm -hmm. And then it's it's growing not only across America, but worldwide. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, we've got teams in Canada and Australia. And both of those countries are coming to the World Cup. We've got teams in the UK and France and Italy. Uh, Brussels in China even. We have a team in Uganda who actually had to clear away a space for a pitch. It's everywhere and it'll be right here at the World Cup in North Myrtle Beach and and Jack I know that you've played before so you can give me some pointers. <laughs> I might be here field side over the weekend in case somebody gets hurt you know I'll be able to step in for him. You bring that broom back to the studio and we'll head out back and we'll have a little uh, Quidditch session. Okay. A little training session. I'm gonna have to jump I'm by in on no, that. That kid's an expert. I am no expert. Well he clearly knew what he was talking about.